Thanks to reliable testing methods which are in use worldwide, the current very high quality standard can be achieved. The flock inspect apparatus is used to check the geometrical form and the exact length of the flock fibers. For siftability control, 20 grams of flock are weighed and placed in the siftability testing equipment, where the flow of the flock fibers through the sieve is measured. Any flock remaining in the sieve drum after 60 turns should not exceed a maximum weight and should be free of overlengths and balling. With the resistance measuring equipment, called a textometer, the conductivity is measured on a scale. Instead of the flock plate electrode, one can also screw on the two needle electrode for measuring the conductivity of the adhesive. For testing the flock reactivity, exactly two grams of flock are weighed into the sieving device of the equipment, sieved evenly onto the sample dish and put onto the lower earthed plate of the rise testing equipment. After enclosing the flock area with the acrylic side covers and with the top cover, high voltage is connected to the upper electrode. Now the flock rises or jumps between the two plates and should disappear in the shortest possible time from the lower earthed metal plate. The car industry especially requires extremely high light fastness characteristics. The light exposure device simulates the influence of sun rays over years within just a few days. And in special color testing cabins, the different light sources highlight the smallest possible color differences in the flocked surfaces. One of the main characteristics for the quality of the finished flocked products is the abrasion resistance. Depending on the final use, Different test blades with different weights test the abrasion resistance very thoroughly. Apart from the standard blade, based on the requirements of many car manufacturers, special blades are often also used for different applications. The tear-out test directly measures the quality of the flock anchoring. With a small aluminium form specially adapted to a clamping system an extremely powerful hot melt adhesive is poured onto the flocked surface and the power required for tearing off is measured after the molten adhesive has cooled down and hardened. In this example, the flock is completely torn out of the adhesive. Most of the time, the adherence strength is so high that with rubber profiles, sometimes even the rubber itself is torn off.